Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Tuesday, October 11th at about 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time. And uh, here is uh, our gold, silver, and spiders report. And uh, taking a look at the GLD, uh, trading gold, uh, we broke out of a little trading range here yesterday. Um, today we're having what they call an inside day. Uh, we did not make a new high, a higher high this morning, uh, just uh, kind of fell down a little bit here. Still um, looking for support here at this upper trend line and here at this green dotted line, which is the 100 day moving average. Uh, volume has been very light and tapering off, um, a good sign as gold consolidates. Um, the target here would be this red line, uh, which is the 21 day moving average at about 165. Uh, so gold uh, still trying to maintain uh, this little breakout here today. And looking at a weekly chart of gold, we can see this long-term trend that's in place. Uh, I drew a trend line along the lows here, and we're still respecting that. And this goes back to the start of the year. So you can see gold uh, having a nice uh, big correction a few weeks ago, coming down and testing this line and testing it again. And now we're um, getting a little bit of a bump up, um, uh, staying above this uh, green dotted line, which is the 20-week moving average. So holding tight there. So the uptrend is still intact. And looking at the SLV, the silver um, uh, exchange traded fund, we're down about a half a percent today. Uh, pulling back a little bit the last uh, couple of days here, broke out of a trading range here uh, four sessions ago. Uh, again, volume on the light side. Um, after this big fall, uh, trying to rally back. And uh, still under these key moving averages, uh, this black dotted line is the 200 day. And this green dotted line is the 100 day. And of course, the blue line is the 50 day. And the red line is a 21 day moving average, which is falling very rapidly. That would be our next target point here. And that is at uh, $33.30. So um, uh, silver um, broke out here, this little short pattern, uh, moving higher, pulling back a little bit in low volume. Let's see what happens. And now looking at the S&P 500 spider, the SPY. Um, we can see this morning that we're uh, slightly higher, um, made our uh, fifth new uh, higher high in a row here. Nice rally up off of 107.43. And we're coming back into this range of overhead resistance. I drew a line along the tops here. So we're coming up to test that here. We did get above this uh, blue line, the 50 day moving average. And of course, we're above this red line, the 21 day moving average, but still below these, these longer term moving averages, the green dotted line, which is the 100, and the black dotted line, which is the 200. So below that, trying to rally up. Let's see what happens here. We're coming into a critical area where we could uh, either break out, uh, which would be bullish, Next stop would be this uh, uh, green dotted line at uh, $123.64. But right now, let's see what happens as we fight a battle here at this upper trend line at about $120. And when I go to a 60-minute uh, uh, chart of uh, the S&P 500, you can see this trend uh, in place here, this uptrend. And um, we're still respecting that. And we're riding this, this you can see this sort of um, gray uh, solid line, which is the 10-hour uh, 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 moving average. And it's, it's been pretty much following that up here. So a nice uh, uptrend in place, but again, coming into areas of overhead resistance here. So um, I would keep an eye if you're uh, trading, if you have time to look at your monitors all day, I would look at this 60-minute uh, uh, chart here uh, to see a trend change and pick it up a little bit early. Okay, good luck.